Hi and welcome to the review shows. Today on the review shows we're going to be reviewing the Tower Rose Gold Edition 3-in-1 Deep Fill Snack Maker. This is for sandwiches, paninis and waffles. We have extra large cooking plates for larger deeper extra filled snacks. Fast heat up 900 watt, quick and effective grilling and three non-stick removable plates, easy clean dishwasher safe. So we can do the sandwich toaster, the panini toaster, and then make some waffles. So we're gonna open it up and have a look at the instructions. So we got a security tab on here, it says do not open. So we're gonna open it. Let's see what we got in here. plates. This looks like a panini plate. Keep all the rubbish there. No cannibal. These look like our waffle plates. Keep all these bags to store them in later. And then we have the machine itself, which I assume has the other plates already fitted. And an instruction booklet. And a warranty. Make sure we put that there. There it is, rose gold. Put all the gym back in there. And there's a little, and there we are, there's the other plate. More packaging. So these plates obviously come out. Uh, let, looks like there's little clips there. we have to open to remove the plates. So we're going to start with a sandwich. So there we are. So let's have a quick look at the instructions. Okay. Carefully unpack all the appliance, remove all packaging materials, done that. Pack, place the appliance on a flat surface. Open the snack maker up. Wipe the cooking plates with a damp cloth so they are clean. So, we have a cloth here somewhere. We're gonna make sure these plates are clean. Just with a damp cloth. plates as well. These are panini ones. And these are going to be hard to clean. The waffle maker. Then. Here we don't want this cloth to be too wet, just nice and damp. So there we have all the plates cleaned. Use a small amount of cooking oil to season the cooking plates and wipe off any excess with a dry cloth. This only needs to be done once. Okay, so we'll get some oil. And now we shall brush a little bit onto the plates. To season them. And 
now we shall wipe off the excess with a dry cloth. Which in my case will be chin roll. supposed to be deep fill so hopefully we'll be able to get a lot of filling in there. So I think that should be it. So plug in the wall socket and preheat. So we close the lid and plug into the socket which we have by here. We take off more packaging. And then we have an orange light and we have to wait for the green light now before we can cook. So we're going to prepare some bread to make our sandwiches. So we want four slices to go in there and some filling. So we're going to use beans, ham and cheese. So we have cheese somewhere, grated cheese. And with these sandwich um, toasters you have to butter the outside of the bread. So. We have some butter here, which is quite solid because it's cold up here today. So we're going to butter the outsides. We still haven't had our green light yet, so we're still heating up. I can smell that as it's heating up now. Not the best buttering in the world. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's just solid chunks of butter here. But I'm sure it'll melt once it gets under there. I think we got a green light now, so as soon as I finish doing this, we'll be ready. That is cool buttering. And use this whole pack of butter on these four slices of bread. <laughs> I know that's appalling looking, but there we go. It's the best I can do. So, we've now buttered ish our bread. And we're going to try and make a sandwich. So, we open that up. Buttered side goes against the plates. And then we shall put some ham in the one. I already hear the butter melting. And the other side we will put some more, some, some more, some beans. Try and put it into the little pockets.
and then we shall add to both some cheese. This is pre-grated cheese because it's easier. Should have had pre-buttered bread really, shouldn't I? So put some cheese in there. And some cheese in here. Trying to get into the pockets if you can. And then we shall put the tops on. Now buttered side goes out so you have to put the butter showing on top. And now we will attempt to close the lid. Making a little bit of steam looking nice. We shall wait now for that to cook. Let's see how long that takes to cook. Normal cooking times will be three to five minutes. So we'll leave that and I'll come back to you when it's a bit more cooked. Okay, it's been about five minutes now, so we are going to check on our sandwiches. Oh, and they look a nice golden color. Oh, they are nice and crispy actually as well. So, I'm going to unplug that. And I'll, and I'll allow it to cool. And now, carefully, because these are going to be hot, I'm going to take my sandwiches out. So we'll let them cool because we can't take the plates out until they're cool. And we shall have a look at our sandwiches. They look nice and golden. The cheese there coming out like hot plastic, so you have to be very careful with these things. If you can see that inside, the cheese and the ham, pretty well cooked. And now let's have a look at the bean and cheese. And there are those beans and cheese are steaming away there. They're nicely cooked as well. So, we'll let this cool a little bit. And we'll, we'll try the cheese and ham one. That's nice. Nice deep filling as well. And it gives it a nice clam shaped looking pattern on there from the pads. I have to be careful because I don't want to burn myself on hot cheese. Mm. That's nice. Let's try the vegetarian option, which is cheese and beans. No, it's hot. <laughs> that is nice, but you have to be careful eating that one because it is very, very hot coming out. Mm. So now we shall let that cool down a bit and then we shall try the panini. So I'll come back to you when I have let that cool down. See you in a bit. Okay, welcome back. We've let the plates cool down now, taking them out. So we're going to pop in the panini plates. Again, make sure they're secure. Bit first under and clip it in. We've already oiled these earlier. So, we, no, we have to do them one at a time. So, we're first of all going to do the chicken tikka breast. So we need to butter the panini. So we'll have to cut our panini open. 
And while we do that, actually, we shall preheat that. So there we are, the lights on. So let's put that our panini. Doing this on the normal inside. <laughs> so I have to better this. It's worse than the bread. Should have pre melted our butter. So while I'm about it, I shall butter this one as well. Ready? As that preheats, you should hear a click and see the light come on, the green light, when it's ready. Which I think it just did. Continue a click though, but the green light's on. So it doesn't take long to be ready. I think it was a bit hot anyway from earlier. So we shall finish buttering this one. There's atrocious buttering again. Now we shall put into this the chicken tikka breast pieces. They're quite large, so I shall rip them up. Mm, they smell nice. You like chicken tikka? This is the panini for you. And if you're a vegetarian, we should be doing on the next one, some vegan kick of tikka chicken style pieces. It won't be vegan because I've buttered the bread, but if you've got vegan butter or whatever you use, then it will be vegan, I assume. So we shall place our panini in there and close the lid and give that five minutes. So I'll see you in a moment. Okay, we're coming up to five minutes now. So before we take that one out, we're going to put up this one, which is the vegan. Ooh, it smells nice as well. This is the kick of tikka, chicken style pieces. A bit easier to handle, actually. So as you see, this is going to be a vegetarian one because I've used butter on the bread. So there we have that. So let us look at our first panini. Ooh, and he's looking nice. Nice and crispy. Nice and hot. So I'll place them on there. Burning my fingers, I do it. And we will stick our vegetarian one in. So we got some nice grill mags on here. It'd be nice to do a steak in there actually. And let's see how well that looks inside. Yes, yeah, nice and steamy inside. And we shall give this a try. Mm. Yeah, that's nice. Mm. 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 So let's wait a few minutes now for the next panini. Okay, welcome back. We're gonna try this one now. Oof. Yes, and that's looking good. So we should turn off the power to let that cool down. We should take this out. Hot. And that's nice and 
and steamy too. So we shall give this a try. This is our vegetarian kick of tikka chicken style pieces. Mm. Oh, it's nice. It's really nice actually. Mm. Mm. Okay. Right, so now we are going to try and make waffles with the third set of plates. So we're going to let this cool down as I consume these sandwiches and I'll see you in a minute. Bye. Okay, welcome back. We've let that cool and we've taken out the panini plates. So now we're going to put in the waffle plates. We're unplugged from the power. And now we're going to preheat that as we make our waffle mix. So we have Auntie Bessie's American style pancake and waffle mix, which requires two eggs and 150 milliliters of water. So, I'm gonna make this up. No mixing bowl. Get it all out. Add our two free range eggs. And now a hundred and fifty milliliters of water. make up a nice waffle batter by mixing all this up to make a nice smooth paste I think we've got a green light so we're ready to go so it's just a matter of getting this nice and smooth and fluffy bit of air into there. I think this should get me a handshake. And that's nice and mixed I believe. So now we have to pour it onto our bottom plates. So we get an even pour. We shall let that cook for three to five minutes and I shall see you back here then. Okay, welcome back. That's been in there about three or four minutes now. So we're going to open it up. We had a bit of leakage on this side. We've wiped that up. So we're going to open this up now and have a look. Oh, that is not bad. <laughs> Didn't put enough in by there. Have a look at that. So now we've got to try and take this out somehow. Should have brought some plastic tongs, really. Maybe if I remove the power first, flip it the other way. 
and ease it out that way. No. Okay, this is not going to be the easiest to get, but look at that. Try the back of my spoon. Be careful not to scratch the plates. I think maybe it's coming. failed with this actually. I think it is well and truly stuck in there. So what I'm going to do is take this one out and then try again with a little bit of oil in there to see if that helps. So I shall take this out and get back to you in a minute. See you soon. Bye. Okay welcome back. We just scrubbed this out because the rest of the waffle wouldn't come out, so I've taken it and washed it out. So what I'm going to do this time is lightly oil it and give it another go. Because it did stick a bit there. So I'm going to put a bit of light oil in here. Just enough. So it won't stick again. Now hopefully that will make a difference. So we're going to preheat it and see if see if it makes a difference. We sort of made a waffle. It's nice, but not quite what we wanted. So we'll let that preheat, wait for the little light to come on, and then we shall try again. We've got our green light, doesn't take long. So let's try again. I'm not going to put so much in this time, because it did bubble over this end. Just trying to put an even coat in. So it fills all the gaps. I think that will do. So we will give that three to five minutes. And we'll see you again in a few minutes. See if this one's any better. Okay, welcome back. We're going to try the waffle now. It's been five minutes. See if it's any better. Oh, and that is looking crispy and golden. So we'll turn off the power. And see if we can get this one out. Oh, that is better. It obviously needed a little bit of oil. Oh, hot. Use my plastic so as not to scratch the non-stick. And there we have two gorgeous looking waffles. Now it says add the top one of your choice. So my choice is going to be Nutella. Which is as hard as the butter was.
we shall use some squirty cream as well. How good does that look? <laughs> So let us try the waffle with squirty cream and Nutella. So the secret to this is do put a bit of oil in there. Mm. That is dreamy. Mm. So there we have it, the Tower Rose Gold Edition Deep Fill Snack Maker Sandwich Panini and Waffle. So I hope you've enjoyed this review show. If you have, please subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified of any other shows that we put on. And I'll see you on the next review show. Thank you and bye.